Hey guys, this week Nicholas and Traveler is collecting abnormal seeds, and the best area I found to farm them in, uh, if you're not going to be using SOS, is Talmark Wilderness. If you do use SOS, then right outside of Temple of Agents, uh, they have a whole bunch of reed stalkers, or whatever the mesmers are called, that just spawn right outside of Temple of Ages. But if you're going to use something else, then you need to run through Black Current into Talmark Wilderness. Uh, you need to make sure that you have pretty good defense skills. The ancient oak hearts, which is what you're going to be targeting, don't really deal a lot of damage, but there's a lot of stuff that can spawn with them that can, particularly uh, right at the beginning, the inferno imps, or glowing imps, whatever their name is. Uh, you, They put burning on you, which is what's going to cause most of the damage. Um, so if you're in a group and there's one or two of them, you might want to kill those first before you kill anything else. Uh, there's Nicholas right over there. There's usually one that spawns, one ancient oak heart that spawns near him. This time there just happen to be two. Because in Prophecies, the spawns are all randomized. Um, then you're going to head east from there. Uh, and you're going to pretty much make a circle. Uh, once I get through a little bit I'll open up my mini map. What you want to do is just keep going until you don't see any more oak hearts and then you're gonna turn and just follow the path. Uh, and also it doesn't hurt to kill the uh, nightmares that spawn because they drop a lot of glittering dust which you can use to make cons and sell for money uh, in case you didn't know that. Uh, over in one of the groups, usually at the spot I'm at now, there is a ranger boss that is an oak heart that spawns. Uh, however, he happened to spawn a little ways away this time. Uh, the spot that I was at is just the most common spot. Uh, it can actually spawn pretty much anywhere in the area. Uh, there's not really too much trouble you can get into when you're just fighting the oak hearts. When you go fight the boss, if you're using melee or close range, it might uh, hinder you a little bit because it lays down a bunch of tra dust traps that will put blind on you. Uh, so you just need to be aware of that. Uh, more dangerous, the necromancer boss that uh, usually oak heart won't spawn near it, but occasionally it does, and it happened to do that this run. So I guess that's good. So it's now I can show you uh, how dangerous it is, even though I didn't come close to dying when fighting it. But on one of my runs, I did have uh, three Oakart spawn right next to it. And it was hard trying to kill them when the boss was still alive, and it didn't really make much sense to try to kill the boss first, since it has a lot more health and natural regen. Uh, so anyway, I had the minimap open a little bit, uh, it kind of forms an S shape on your mini map in the directions you're going to go. Uh, and it's pretty much just a big circle with one little tail hanging off. And I actually forgot one group, so I'm going to have to run back and get that one. So, But other than that, that's pretty much all you got to do. And it takes. It's taking me about 20 minutes per run, but you get 7 or 8 per run, 